Hello everybody. In this video, we are blinking LED in the Proteus environment using uh, coding by Q by D, STM32 Q by D. It is blinking every 1000 millisecond. We are going to change it in the Q by D to 100 millisecond and it's blinking faster. Let's get started with this. Before we start, we see why we should learn Proteus. The STM32 boards, it can be uploaded certain amount of time, depend on the manufacturer. After a certain amount, it will die. Uh, for the Proteus, we don't need the parts. We, we can learn without it. Uh, we, will we will not damage the parts. For example, if you do wrong wiring or something, we will not damage the MC. The microcontrollers are expensive. Uh, Sometimes it's not available locally. We need to buy from overseas. We need to wait until then we can use Proteus. We need to install and open the Proteus software. I have already installed. If you don't have installed, I have made a separate video how to install Proteus software which is available here. Otherwise, we can continue. Open this one. and get this page, click open sample. Uh, in the keyword area, type STM32. The one we are using is STM32F103 Blink LED. Double click this one. This is the one. Uh, pin PA5 connected to a LED. The chip we are using, if you double click this, we can see STM32F103R6. Okay. Now, we can run this. We can use this uh, run button, play button to run. Because the uh, chip is already programmed to blink, so it's blinking. So, how we change the code, how we change the program, we can use STM32Q by DE to make the code and compile and we can run from here. To do that one, we stop this and we minimize and we go to STM32 Q by DE. I have already installed, it is here. If you don't have installed this one, I have made a separate video. It's available here. I have done it for different STM32 physical chip, but you can use from this time to this time. To install this one. So I opened it. It's here. Click File, New, STM32 Project. For the part number, we type the same part number they use. That is STM32F103R6. That's the one, the Proteus. Uh, I, I'm going to select this one. This one. Click Next. Give a name. I give name Pro. Finish. Uh, this is the chip. We can zoom in. Uh, pin PA5, which is here, that's the one they are using to for the LED. So zoom it again. In PA5, we make it as a GPIO output. That's all the setting, settings we need. Now we can click Save. Yes. Yes. This is the main.c file. That's a C language file. The compiler, the, the program going to execute from here to like here like this. Some include here. 
and there are some library for the cube IDE. We need to worry about this. That's the main void. That's the C language syntax. Whatever inside is going to in execute. There is some in initialization. All are related to cube IDE. And when it comes here, that's the end of the main uh, void function. There's a while loop here. So it's forever loop. We're going to put the LED blink code in here. So whatever we put here, it will blink. So for the HAL code is to blink the LED is HAL GPIO T. Now we can auto complete by holding control key and space bar. Auto complete. Now change this to GPIO A because A5 we're going to blink pin A5. So pin PIN underscore 5. So it will toggle the pin 5. Now we give the delay, shorter delay by giving HAL underscore DE and control key and space bar auto complete. The second one, uh, we make it faster by giving 100 millisecond only. Semicolon. That's all the code. Now we can click save and use this button to build. Hopefully we don't get any errors. So it's compiling. We can see the progress here. All good, zero error. Now we go to uh, Proteus. We come here, we double click this one. And for, for the program file, we click this. Uh, we point it to that uh, because the file uh, we compiled from the cube IDE, that's uh, we need to go to uh, desktop. This PC and we go to C drive. If you install the cube IDE in a default uh, location, this is the location in the C drive users and nisar is my name you have to use your name or your computer name htm32 cube ide and whatever workspace you use i used youtube and the pro is the name i give to the uh, project and go to debug folder and point it to pro.elf and open okay now we can run again. We can click the play button again. Now it will blink faster. I see it's blinking faster. So now if you if you need to modify the code again, what do you do? It's very simple. We just stop it and we go to cube ID again. Uh, for example, for the delay, we make it slower by giving 1000 millisecond. We save it. Save button and the build button again. When the build completed, we go to Proteus again. Completed, we go to Proteus again and we play again. That's all. It's going to blink slower. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.